What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. So many, many moons ago, it was actually my second video. So almost three years ago, we made a video. And that video was about the whistle that comes out of the Toyota Tundra most of the time when you get yourself an aftermarket intake system. TRD, K&N, Volan, it doesn't matter. All of a sudden, the uh, TRD intake system letting in a little bit more air makes this high pitch whistle noise, okay? And that video was about how to get rid of it. And it's been gone ever since, three years ago. Now we have the Magnuson Supercharger, a completely different truck than three years ago, and the whistling has returned. And it returned when I changed out filters from a K&N filter to a TRD filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and blame the TRD filter. Now they're pretty much the same filter, okay? It was time to update or upgrade my air filter. I had the K&N since I had the um, supercharger put in in 2017, so I felt like it was time. You know, up here in the Northeast, you deal with a lot of road grime, rock, salt, snow, terrible weather all the time. So we gave it two years and now we're updating it. So when we updated it, we, did, we went to the TRD, which like I said, is pretty much the same thing. TRD is a little bit smaller as far as thickness, but I figured it would be the same exact thing. Well, that high pitch whistle has returned. So today I'm going to do everything I can to show you this high pitch whistle. We're going to be a little old school today. We're not just going to talk about it. I am going to hook up this extremely old YouTube microphone I have right here. Okay. I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to tape it down to the air box and I'm going to record some sound and hopefully let you guys hear what I'm talking about that high pitch whistle. If it doesn't hear the whistle, I apologize. I will not know until I'm done filming if it worked or not. But hopefully, if you can't hear the whistle, at least you could hear some supercharger noises along the way. So we're going to do a couple different, um, you know, driving behaviors. We'll do nice and easy. We'll do off of a traffic light. We'll do going a little bit faster just to see where and when that whistle happens. Again, this will literally be scotch taped right on top of the airbox. Unfortunately, because this is such an old uh, microphone, there won't be any video. Okay, so during the time that you're hearing the sounds, I decided to kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna put up a bunch of pictures of the exterior of this Platinum Pro Tundra, some of the parts on it and everything like that, because a couple of people have commented me and said they wanna see more pictures of my Platinum Pro. So while you're hearing all the noise that's coming from the supercharger and the airbox and everything, you'll be seeing pictures of the Platinum. So let's go outside, hook this thing up, First off, I'm sorry for the wind noise. It is super windy out here. So this is what we're doing. We're hanging the mic right here, uh, right into the engine bay, right over the air box there. And it's going right through the window to the camera.
well, well. It looks like my little uh, microphone hanging in the engine bay worked. And there is a heavy-duty whistle coming out of that thing. Speaking of heavy-duty, the engine actually sounded like a turbo diesel with that whistle going on. So I got to be honest with you, I, I don't hate it. I actually like it. I like the sounds that were coming out of that. So make sure you tell me what you think. I'm sure you'll be able to hear it. It's in a bunch of the clips, especially the ones where I'm getting up to speed. That's where it was most evident. So let me know what you think about that sound. That was pretty crazy. Uh, between the sound of the supercharger, the sound of the tires, because I kept hearing the tires, um, some road noise, but nothing crazy, nothing insane. Um, and that high-pitched whistle that I worked so hard to get rid of when I had just the cold air intake before the Magnuson. But now uh, I'm not too mad that it's there. So we switched from K&N uh, air filter to TRD air filter, and we got that whistle. And at this point, it's welcome. So let me know what you think. Twitter and Instagram at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 gmail.com. You guys have a great day, and if I don't see you again, happy Easter.